Hey, it's Chris. Welcome. I wanted to talk about using templates in your DAW, and you can do that in several different ways. For the whole DAW session, you can save a template, and then you can save settings within an individual plugin. So you can have a sort of a template for a certain plugin, and then you can actually save a plugin chain with a bunch of different plugins in a row, and you can save that whole chain with all the settings and stuff. So let me show you. Let me show you. Yeah, here's Reaper. Uh, this is one of my past episodes of my show. And you can see uh, on the top here, we have these two tracks of music. You have the intro music, the outro music, and then you have Chris, Vic, and Mike were the participants here. So first of all, let's look at let's look at um, the plugins. These are the plugins we're using on my voice. And so this is the uh, Kit BB N105, it's really nice plugin. Anyway, you see I've done some EQing. I'm adding a little bit of 10K. Uh, I'm, I'm adding a little bit of 2.7 kilohertz and I'm rolling off 27 hertz and below. Anyway, I'm EQing my voice. <clears throat> and so what you could do is save this. I for, uh No, that was a comment. But you can, yeah, preset. Here we go. So no preset. So, um, you see, I already saved one called program one. And so you could add a preset and you could say save preset. And I can say Chris best. Okay. Wow. Look what happened to the, you see that? Oh, the plugin got skewed. All right there. Now it's back. So you see, I just saved right here. Chris best. I saved a, a template in this EQ. Now, all these four plugins in a row, you see I'm using the Kit BBN 105, the Vocal Rider, Soothe, and Pro Q3. All of these I can save as, uh, as, sorry, as a plugin chain. So you hear, you go here and you say save effects chain, and I can call it, you know, Chris's Chris's vocal chain right? And then I can load, it'll save all these plugins and all the settings within each plugin, and I can load that later. And then the last thing for your DAW template, for your session template, you can see right now, this is an actual episode of my show, and there's a lot of audio here. And so what, you know, after I'm done producing this episode, what I can do is highlight a piece of audio, and then I'll hit Command A or Control A, and it'll select all the clips on the whole session. And then what I can do is hold down command on a Mac, or I think you hold down control on Windows, not sure. But anyway, you see right here, I'm, a, I'm gonna deselect the intro music. So boom, I deselected the intro music and look over here, I'm gonna deselect the outro music. So now what I have highlighted is all the audio from this podcast episode session except for the mu except for my intro music and my outro music. So now I'm just going to click delete. Boom. Now look, it's a blank session, but it has my intro music and of course even on my intro music I have some effects and uh, plugins and stuff. So now what I can do in Reaper is just go to file and look project templates and then save project as template. And you can save this it's like a blank podcast session. You can save this as a template. Even my voice with all the plugins I'm using on my voice will also be saved in this template. So that's what you can do. Just wanted to show you some ways you can use templates in your podcast production. Of course, it, it's going to differ a little bit if you use a different DAW than Reaper, but that's just trivial stuff. You have to find the menus and do what I showed you, but that's how you do it. So that's what I wanted to show you for today. Don't forget the podcast engineering show. It's my podcast. Sign up for the daily goodie emails, little tips and tricks. And also podcastengineeringschool.com is where you can find out about the, the main course that we offer, teaching people how to uh, work from home and earn a great living producing podcasts. So that's it. Got to go. Thank you. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you want. Okay. We'll see you.